the Olympia study um, is a randomized uh, phase three placebo controlled uh, study, which asks the question whether the addition of a year of the PARP inhibitor Alaparib uh, to standard of care treatment, um, including uh, six cycles uh, of anthracycline or taxane based uh, chemotherapy uh, can improve a primary endpoint of invasive uh, disease free survival. And so the study recruited um, uh, in the context of a breast international group uh, coordinated partnership in many countries around the world, 1,836 uh, germline BRCA1 and BRCA2 mutation carriers. The eligible population for this study was those with germline mutation in BRCA1 and BRCA2 and uh, included patients with HER2 negative disease, whether they were triple negative or had um, hormone receptor positive disease. They could be recruited uh, if they had had neoadjuvant chemotherapy and had residual disease. At the end of the neoadjuvant chemotherapy, um, any residual invasive cancer was sufficient to be eligible if they were triple negative. If they had hormone receptor positive disease, they needed to have a higher level of residual disease using the CPS and EG score of three uh, or more uh, in order to uh, have a significant risk of, of recurrence despite chemotherapy. Those recruited um, in the adjuvant therapy context, uh, if they had triple negative um, disease, they needed to have at least T2 tumor size uh, or to be node positive PN1 or above um, to meet the risk criteria. And for hormone receptor positive disease in the adjuvant setting, uh, there was a requirement for at least four nodes to be positive. And these uh, requirements were um, placed by regulatory agencies in order to ensure um, a high risk ER positive population. After receiving that uh, adjuvant or neoadjuvant chemotherapy and completing their necessary uh, local regional treatments. They were randomly allocated to one year of the PARP inhibitor Alaparib uh, or to placebo in a double blind design. Um, they uh, were then followed uh, for the end point of uh, invasive disease free survival. Our uh, main result presented uh, at the ASCO plenary uh, was that a year of Alaparib reduced uh, the rate of invasive disease-free survival events uh, with a hazard ratio of 0.58 that was very highly statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.001 and an absolute difference in the rate of IDFS events at three years of 8.8%. Secondary endpoints um, included distant disease-free survival and overall survival and distant disease-free survival uh, was also improved by a year of Alaparib with a hazard ratio of 0 0.57 um, and uh, again highly statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0 0.001 um, and an absolute uh, difference um, in the uh, distant disease-free uh, survival rate of uh, 7.1%. Overall survival, this is a very early time point because this was a primary analysis stimulated by um, crossing a superiority boundary at the interim analysis. So we are only at a median follow-up in the ITT population of 2.5 years. So very early to assess overall survival. And the overall survival um, hazard ratio is 0 0.68 uh, and has um, a, it is not statistically significant using the multiple testing procedure boundary of 0 0.01 because the p-value is 0 0.024. Subgroup analysis uh, in the Olympia trial is uh, constrained by the fact that this is um, a primary analysis stimulated by an interim. And so at a median follow-up of only two and a half years, although the events are sufficient to have driven the reporting of the study and its primary analysis, subgroups are very unstable as each subgroup has small numbers of events in it. The subgroups uh, show no evidence of uh, statistical heterogeneity. So there was no evidence in any subgroup that there was a statistically significantly different um, treatment effect for Alaparib than that of the overall intention to treat population. And so while of interest, we must wait for longer follow-up to be able to try to understand any differences from the overall treatment uh, effect within any subgroup. So at present, 
um, we believe that the result applies to the entire eligible population, including those with both hormone receptor positive and triple negative disease, uh, despite the fact that um, the hormone receptor positive population are a smaller 20% sub, uh, sub um, uh, group of the overall study. So the key messages from the Olympia trial are that a year of alaparib in an adjuvant setting after completion of standard of care therapies, local regional therapies, and um, uh, six cycles of neoadjuvant or adjuvant chemotherapy improves the primary endpoint uh, of invasive disease-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.58 and a distant disease-free survival uh, with a hazard ratio of 0.57 with meaningful um, improvements in the absolute uh, uh, rates of those uh, endpoints and with um, limited toxicity. <laughs>